The following video is not sponsored by Taco Bell. Thank you. So you know your game's font. It's a, it's the thing that makes the text look like what it is. Yeah, yeah. And it's like it pretty much defines a lot, pretty much the style of the entire game. It's it's a very hard choice to make. It's, it's 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 very stressful, you know. Like, how how are you supposed to determine uh, what, what what do you do? So how about instead of you making the decision, you force the player to do it in instead? Introducing the font option plugin, a plugin that lets your player choose a font of the game in the options menu, just like so. And so now, like, the font is is that. So like, it's uh, yeah, yeah, yay, and you could be like, whoa, whoa, yeah, yay. Oh, oh my gosh, whoa, 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 oh, okay. First, of course, install the plugin. Next, enter your game folder, go into your fonts folder, then install all the extra fonts you wish to use. So as you see by default, this font and the game font.css are gonna be in this fonts folder, but as you see, these three fonts files I've also added myself, so yeah. Going back into the plugin parameters, you'll have to set up each individual font into their own section to be added to the options. So first, we're gonna input the file name. So to do so, take one of the font files right here, grab their name and stuff just by like highlighting it all like that, and be sure to include the font extension just like that. Next, Next, give it a name that'll appear in game. So, for example, we'll call this Monsterat, as it says in the font thing right here. And then we'll be good to go. Now, as you can see in game, the default font and the new Monsterat font will be available in the game to be chosen from. Yeah. Simply repeat for all the fonts you want in your game, and they shall all be available within your options menu just like this. Now let's say, for example, you want a font to be attached to a switch, and that font is only available within the options menu when that switch is turned on. Simply go to the font's corresponding switch parameter like so, and input the switch ID, for example, 3 for font 1. This means font 1, or the monster at font, will not be available unless switch 3 is turned on. So now as you can see, Monster Rat is currently not available. But when we go turn Switch 3 on like this, Switch 3 is now on, we'll find that, whoa bam, here it is right here available for the player. So using this, you can customize what fonts are unlocked through various events or listings or whatever. Maybe you can like purchase fonts in the game and have, let the player choose and whatever. Yeah. And then finally, you have all the various options. For example, the option name that appears in the options menu, the position of the command, so it'll be on the top, middle, or bottom based on what your preference is. And then, of course, the name of what the default font will be. So you could just be default, maybe you just want to call it game font like that. It's, it's, up, it's up to you to what you want to call it and stuff. But yeah, that's it for now. Um, until next time, be sure to not eat tacos and um, it, 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 don't. Instead of eating tacos, leave this a like on the video. That's good. Or a comment. Comment what your favorite font is and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Is there anything else to say? Uh. Uh. Watch, watch me wreck this bat. Bat A is gonna get destroyed. Well, bam. Dead.